Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu Alaikum. My name is Shwaib Khan and welcome to MaxAfter.com. Today I've got a very uh, informative story for you. Of course, it's uh, about a card dance effect. I must say that this effect is a very powerful effect because if you if you're doing a project and your client says that I want millions of pictures flying around in half an hour, so you've got two choices: either you just download millions of pictures and and make them fly one by one and it'll take you uh, a year to do that or you just simply use card dance effect and do the job so this is what uh, we will be doing in this tutorial today here it is check it out so as you can see millions of pictures flying around basically they're not millions they're just probably 50 pictures you know they're just flying around we will be doing um, another tutorial as well which is this one So let's start with this tutorial first because this uh, is easier to understand and then we can move on to the next one. Okay, let's first go to the images folder here and open it and we have got this image here. Let's drag it across and make a new comp. And uh, we go we come to effects and presets and write card dance. And we've got our card dance here. Uh, drag it across and put it on the image layer. So right now nothing is happening because we need to make few adjustments here. Uh, the first very important thing is gradient layer 1. Basically our main image here will react according to any image that is being loaded here because it will take the information from the image that is being loaded here and then of course react accordingly. So right now what we do is we load our image 1 uh, itself uh, into it and we come down to the main thing which is Z position. In Z position what you need to do is um, you of course you need to change the source here. If you click here if you click the intensity basically it uses the intensity or brightness in gradient layer 1. Now if we adjust uh, this multiplier value here will be multiplied by the pixel values that are contained in gradient layer 1. When you increase it you'll see it has already reacted. So this whole thing uh, of uh, breaking of the picture is is because it's reacting to the image itself here. And if you put any other image, it will break according to that image. Basically, it's controlled uh, by the brightness and darkness of the image. Okay, now let's change the rows and columns. If you increase the rows, let's say to 50, you can see that uh, the pattern here has changed. And change this to, let's say, 50 as well. Okay, let's change this to 100 and change this to 80. We change this to 0 and we, we put a keyframe here, multiplier and offset. And then we move to, uh, let's say, 10 seconds and we change this to 100 and let's say to 80. Now, if you render, you'll see what I mean. So, as you can see, that this is how the picture breaks. So this is just uh, one panel we've played around with. The next thing what you can do is you can also you come down to material and you can increase the diffuse and the whole thing lights up as well. And again then you need to control it here as well. This is something that you can play around with and get good results. And also if you want to come to camera position and you can also rotate it like that picture is rotated here so of course uh, you need to adjust it here let's say if it's zero here and we put a keyframe and as it reaches 10 we put a keyframe here 50 so that it rotates as well when it breaks as you can see it's rotating slowly so basically this is how um, you can play around um, with the card dance effect of course this is exposition is exposition that can be changed as well uh, but it won't change because you need to change to intensity 1. Every time you make a change you need to change to intensity 1. So as you can see that if you move it, it'll move into X position. So it's going on the left hand side. So also Y position, you can change the Y position as well. These are the values that you can play around with and get good results. So this is how you can play around with the card dance effects. Basically, I started with this tutorial because uh, so that we can understand how to use the pen. And now let's go towards the main tutorial. Okay, let's start the main tutorial. And for this, we'll go and make a new comp here. We go to comp, new composition, 
and we choose 768 by 576 and 10 seconds we say OK. This time let's first start by making a new noise material. Make it comp size and say OK and come here and type fractal noise just drag it across. We come here to the panel and adjust a few things here and brightness minus 31 and transform let's change the scale to 20 change it to 98 I got these values by experimenting so you can also keep on experimenting with these values so that you get the best results out of it okay let's add another layer to it uh, make it comp side and this time we'll apply ramp to it change it to radial ramp change this color to white and let me change this to multiply this noise material will be used in the gradient layer our image uh, will react to this map here let's make a new composition again the same size 768 by 576 and we'll drag our we'll call this noise what we do is we just drag a noise material into it and then we will drag a material that I created in Photoshop so this material is uh, pretty huge it's 3100 um, let me open it and show it to you 3100 by 3096 so this image uh, you can also create in Photoshop so I basically created a few pictures and I just repeated them across by changing their colors so this is something that you can do as well in Photoshop so what you need to do is drag this put it in our comp let's call it main comp so now what you do is um, as you can see this is a huge image this is what we need the bigger the better so we go to our card dance and apply the card dance effect so as usual nothing is happening so what we need to do is of course the gradient there this time we'll use the noise here and we turn off this noise layer we come down to Z position again change the intensity like as uh, like we did in the previous one and if you see the multiplier you'll see that if you use the multiplier value you can see it's breaking up so these values uh, will be according to the image like for example if you come to the this one you'll see that this has got like 40 pictures this side and 40 pictures on this side so you need to uh, put the values according to the pictures otherwise the pictures will not break accordingly you know so now you go back to our main comp here and now you see once we put the right values it will break accordingly as you see the pictures are properly divided now now if let's say if you want to put a different value here 50 then you can see that the picture and 50 here so what's happening here is your picture is being cut in the middle you know which is not right so you need to put the right value here according to the picture if your picture has got 30 pictures on the side and 30 on the other side then you put 30 but this one it has got like 40 40 so you just put it 40 here and 40 there so that exactly shows up here like this okay now we come here and we come to the main part which is a Z position do is we change the the values here let's put this one to 100 and put this one to 136 so as you can see that you can't see anything here right now because you need to adjust the values so now if you play around with this value you'll see the last picture you know when it disappears then you put your keyframe here let's say it's 107 here so at frame 0 we put the value here for offset and multiply 100 and we go to let's say 4 then we put the value here which is 0 and 0 so come back to the normal but since our picture is too big what we do is another we need to take another important step here is which is camera position so we need to adjust the camera position according to the big picture here so that we get the best out of the whole picture so that we can see that there are like millions of pictures here so for that what we do is we change the values here 7 let's say put this one 7.85 now you can see that you've got thousands of pictures here 
when you change of course the Z position the values here change as well so we again come to Z frame 0 and change our offset value till all the pictures disappear let's put 136 and now if you render and you'll see how it looks so as you can see that how nicely the whole picture is being you know coming back and forming up uh, forming up a big wall of pictures so also you know if you can jazz it up uh, by um, changing the rotation here if you come to the camera position and let's say you want to change the rotation to 50 and put a keyframe here go to the next frame hit U and put 0 here so it has got a nice angle as well so also what you can do is you can play around with these values here as you can see that it kind of gives you a 3D look you know you can play around with the these values let's say Y rotation here as well yeah, there's a big panel here so that you can play around with the values and uh, get the best results out of it so I leave these uh, for you guys to explore well, one more thing you can do is um, of course you can add a adjustment layer to it and then you can apply star glow to the adjustment value here and of course uh, then you can come here pre-process and change this to 220 and change this one to 50 and also you can change the setting to let's say blue color and then also apply it a shine as well that was there in my project so change this to let's say add turn down the shine opacity to 50 and also you can colorize it you can change the color to blue so it gives a nice look as well and then you can add a new solid a background to it and apply ramp change this to dark blue let's render and see how it looks and if in future you come across a project like this where you climb once thousands of pictures flying around then you know what to do so I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial uh, and also uh, Max After Products will be launched soon and be sure to check out the products as well. So I hope you have enjoyed uh, this tutorial and once again my name is Shweb Khan from maxafter.com. Assalamu alaikum.